Hello guys, welcome back to another video, welcome back to my channel, and today I'll be reviewing the iPad 6 generation 2018. I've actually used this iPad in school, so this is not my iPad, but this is the school's iPad. And uh, so I'm the reason why I'm reviewing this iPad is because I'm, I wanted to tell you guys that I think this is the ultimate iPad for its money. And it's great overall, packs some good specs for its value. So, um, let's begin and find out why I think this is the ultimate iPad. As I said, this is the school's iPad. This is not my iPad. I used it in school for two years now, and I'm gonna be looking at it and tell you basically show you one of the things i used and what's great about ipads and um i'm gonna be telling you should you buy the seventh generation or this the sixth generation ipad which is still great this is what i think and i'm gonna be telling you what should you buy and yeah so the, let me first tell you why you should buy this sixth generation ipad over the fifth generation ipad because they're actually the same if you uh, exterior wise if you look at them on the outside they are the same the only difference is you don't have apple pencil support and the chip is a bit older on the fifth generation it's an a9 chip instead of this a10 fusion chip so yeah it's a bit great having a new chip and if you are looking to buy an ipad don't uh, six generation don't you know, over confuse them with the 5th gen because you might accidentally buy a 5th gen look at the specs wisely if it has an A10 fusion chip and if it supports the Apple Pencil because you might buy the older iPad by accident but anyway so I'm gonna be showing you one of the things which is great about iPad and what I used to do I'm at Safari I'm, look, I'm looking at the iPad section of the App Store and let's for example go for the iPad the iPad and I can read about the iPad and see what uh, what about to, I can bring the Safari window and I can open this Safari window for example and then if I kind of pop this up I have this Safari window and I can multitask like this so I have the Apple store here and in a small window I can make it in half half screen window and I also can bring up if I were free up I want to watch something, I can watch something here in a small window. There we go. We go to the Apple website and I can watch something here. Now, hopefully I won't get copyrighted YouTube, please. And I can scroll, look at the Audi website and configure the Audi S3 that's new and look at the iPad and write, find out about what's new about it. That is really cool. I can move this side here make the I Apple section smaller or I can make the Audi window smaller or I can make them in half. I can make the uh, multitasking window, this is how big it goes, or I can make it smaller. Yeah, and it's great. You can multitask like this. And if I exit off Safari, I have my small win window of where I'm looking at the Grand Tour show in here. And I can, for example, go to uh, go to the notes app and do something here so yeah multitasking with the ipad is brilliant now another thing i used the apple pencil now the apple pencil is great because it just makes handwriting notes drawing using the iPad so much easier so i can handwrite and it just makes it so much better because writing on a with a finger on the ipad let's be honest it's not really easy and it doesn't look as good as with a pencil so I got notability open I can you know take notes and write uh, on the iPad and it's really I can draw something and you know and I can use the iPad with the Apple pencil open up some apps yeah and that's also brilliant so yeah as I said when you're buying the iPad 6 gen on eBay for example because you can't find them on Amazon um, make sure you buy the right one not the 5th gen, the 6th gen if you want the Apple support. Look at the specs wisely. So, I've just quickly shown you the two things I mostly did and the other things that are usually like Google Drive, Google Docs, typing on the iPad. Speaking of typing, 
obviously the new iPad 12 gen has smart keyboard support this one doesn't you're gonna have to get a Bluetooth keyboard to get the keyboard support uh, because anyways the smart keyboard for the iPad on from Apple costs really expensive so yeah but what's the difference so so the iPad costs 280 pounds 6th gen uh, 120 gigabytes Wi-Fi only 7th gen costs 120 with the same configuration cost 350 you're saving 170 pounds should you get the 6th gen or the 7th gen and spend the extra 170 pounds and get it if you're on a budget and you don't have 170 pounds extra to spend and you don't really care about the keyboard and the bigger display because legitimately the differences of the iPad 6th gen and the 7th gen are small like the bigger display it's only a small difference and you can use a Bluetooth keyboard with this one if you can't get a hundred extra you're on a budget and you can't want you don't want to spend 170 pounds extra i think you should get the 6th gen it's brilliant it's the ultimate ipad it's really good 9.7 is a great display even though when you're multitasking it really is easy to multitask for two screens and uh, speaking of also we haven't seen we haven't i haven't heard any leaks and rumors about the next generation of the ipad coming out so yeah, the iPad 7 gen might last around for a bit next year, but if you're on a budget, 280 pounds, this is it. This is the iPad that I think you should get. It's brilliant. Um, for 280 pounds, you get some good specs. You get iPad OS. You get an iPad, and that's why I think overall, uh, this is the ultimate iPad. Now you got the iPad Air, which is a bit more, you know, a bit more newer, a bit more. Mm, futuristic than the i this ipad but if you have the money you can uh if you only have the money to buy it because it starts from 600 pounds then you got the pro the flagship ipad and then you got the ipad mini it's like the air but smaller 7.9 inches but if you the cheapest ipad is here the ipad the 7th gen the 6th gen and it's the ultimate ipad so, which is what I please guys comment down below what you think and if you think the same about the iPad 6 gen being the ultimate iPad and yeah guys thanks for watching I'll see you again in the next video